Hello survivors, welcome back to another Death Frontier 2 video. My name is Jimmy Shreds and we are back with another Death Frontier 2 video. Today I'm gonna show you Fused Agony Assault Rifle Review video. I'm gonna leave down in the description my socials and also YouTube membership if you wanna support me through YouTube membership. Thank you for all, all the likes, shares, subs and comments as always and for people who are supporting me through the YouTube membership. Let's not keep it any longer, let's roll. Have in mind, this is not a build video, this is a weapon review. As I said, we're reviewing this um, assault rifle, which you can get during this Halloween event. So, as always, we're going to start with the skills first. So, these are our skills. You can feel free to pause. Have in mind, I do not advise to take Armor 5 if you're going to follow what I have currently. I do take something else instead of Armor 5, completely up to you. So, if you feel like following the skills I have, I'm Prestige 10, I'm not Prestige... Uh, 15 but it's low 60 have in mind now showing you the items you can feel free to pause i'm gonna give you some tips in what like type of items should you focus on for the smg uh ar sorry this ar so it's pretty much the same thing as with the smg like if you're going for elite items, like you want to have something like headshot, mutated, attack speed, maximum accuracy, reload speed, and if possible, body damage. If you are not focusing on the accuracy, you can go for headshot, mutated, attack speed, body damage, reload speed, and ammo capacity. That's for the elite gears. Now, when it comes to unique items, these gloves are really currently the best gloves you can get in the game in terms of DPS. Like really, really insane gloves. Highly advise you to craft these. If you didn't during the Halloween, you have plenty of time to craft these. So make sure you get those. In terms of the helmets, you can either go for the Reckless Raider helmet or the, um, when it comes to Unix, or the um, Gunslinger hat. I do prefer Gunslinger hat because with all the items and Hunter skill, we're going to hit maximum mutated which then the, some stats are going to go to the waste because you lose DPS as well because the Reckless um, headset has headshot, mutated, attack speed, reload speed, and ammo capacity. Great stats, but the extra mutated will go to waste. While Gunslinger uh, set has the same stats, but headshot and mutated are not, not uh, both 70-something. Uh, as If I'm not wrong, on the... Gunslinger heads, the headshot can go up to 74 headshot and mutated to 50 something, I'm not sure. All the other stats can go to 50 something percentage. I don't know exactly the, maybe even 60, I'm not 100%. But that's the, when it comes to gloves and the uh, helmet. Now, what I have here, you pretty much want to focus on something like that, what I have here currently, what you've seen. And statistic. You know, Gore Chimer or Call of the Accursed, those are the best statistics in the game currently. If you do not have those, you can go with Reaper Sight, or if you can go Fatman Trimmer, it depends, you know, on your playstyle and such. Now, we're gonna show fight against the bosses. Let's roll.
And as you've seen, guys, the weapon is really powerful. You know, the same thing as the SMG, really, really strong. So we had a little, we have a little over 2.3k DPS. These are our full stats. So you can see, you can feel free to pause. This weapon has a lower DPS when min maxed than the SMG, but higher DPS than Tombstone. So, the, we're going to talk about the pros, you know. The second highest DPS weapon in the game. Insane kill time, very easy to play, very easy to build around. Bones are very expensive to maintain, needs maximum accuracy to hit more shots so we do not waste too many bullets. And final verdict, this is an insanely good uh, endgame weapon for assault rifle users. If you have cash, budget, go with it, if you can sustain it, obviously. This weapon is better than Tombstone, but in my opinion, Tombstone is still a great AR and has cheaper ammo. So if you wanna, you know, if people are gonna be asking what to choose between SMG or AR, I'm gonna say completely personal preference. Both are like very expensive to maintain. So you can go for AR if you want, if you prefer ARs, if you prefer SMGs, you can go for the SMGs. I do not advise this weapon to new players or people who do not have endgame gear or a lot of money. So that is pretty much the final verdict. And also, what they want to put uh, as the attachment on the weapon is definitely compact scope. I do not advise to go for a brand new compact scope because the it's going to cost like 5 or 6 million. And you can find compact scope I've seen for around 2 million currently. Prices are going up because everybody's using that. So that's pretty much for this video, guys. I hope you find it helpful. And if you didn't, please let me know down in the comments what should I have said uh, better and such things. So, you know, let me know down in the comments because I really care about what you think about, you know, everything that I shared. Um, did it help you and such? So as always, I'm going to leave down below socials and my YouTube membership if you want to support me. And timestamps, as always, as the video has, I should have probably mentioned it in the start. My bad. So thank you everybody for watching and I wish you a great day and I'll see you in another video of the Frontier 2. Till next time, survivors. Peace.